truck has a line of electric bicycles for everyone. They're road ready for performance and comfort on the street or on the trail. Their brand for electric bikes is called Electra. It has all the features you'd expect in the modern bicycle as well as several levels of electric assist or you can turn it off and ride it like a regular bicycle for the fullest amount of exercise. You'll find top quality parts whether it's just compression brakes or special hydraulic front and back disc brakes. By the way, share if you like this video. The Bosch Standard Power Pack powers all these bikes in the series. So whether you're in a commuter special, a hybrid special, a bike made more for riding around campus and around town, Trek has a model ready for you. Let's take a closer look at Trek e-bikes. This first bike up is called the Townie. It has the bent down frame for the female rider. Built for comfort, designed for the student who wants to get around campus or for a short commute. Also good for trail riding. I wouldn't recommend it for a rough and tough mountain biking, but it's a good bike for everything else. You see it's got the front headlight. Whenever the power's on, the front and rear lights are on. front you'll see that it has the quick release for removing the front tire easily and also the front disc brakes. Coming up to the handlebar on the left you'll see the controller with the switch to turn the bike on and off display shows you the speed and the level of charge in your battery. It's a rudimentary device but it works for most purposes. And then if we turn this bike around, I can show you on the right handlebar the controls for the speeds and for the levels of electric assist with the motor. Easy quick release seat for fast adjustment. Standard on all modern bikes now. In the battery pack, there's a push button release, but it, you can't get it off if you're trying to steal it because it's got a key that protects it. And there's the key itself. So that's what powers the bike. They come in 10 amp hour. 8 amp hour, 6 amp hour, if you want more amp hours the better. The next bike up is the mountain bike version, the Trek Powerfly 5. This is in metallic gray finish. This is the Bosch mid-drive motor. The hidden in chamber battery. Piston rear shock, dual piston front shocks. Front disc brakes with quick release, rear disc brakes with quick release. This is the battery coming out of the hidden chamber. Standard Bosch battery goes into a holder, which is also the door of the chamber. All the controls for the gears and the level of assist are on this side. And then turning the bike around, for the other side, the control switch is on the LED readout, which also gives you your speed and your battery charge right there. All the features of a mountain bike plus the additional power of an electric motor. The third bike is the hybrid model, 
for trail and for street use. We got the Bosch mid drive motor, heavy duty chain, and on the front of the bike, the same thing with the quick release and the front disc brakes. Lockable battery. beautiful riding experience. So there you go, these are the basic lines of electric bikes from Trek. Looks so like it's a two-hand job removing the battery, huh? Can you help me out here? This is how bikes work when they have electric motors in the mid-drive configuration. When you look on the left, you see one of the two different drives where you have a motor that is in series on the chain with the pedal sprocket so that you can power it with your own force or you can power it with the motor alone or a combination of the two. On the right side, you have the motor on the same axle as the sprocket so that the physical power and the electric power go into the same drive and drive the chain at the same point. This requires a stronger chain, which Trek provides. Now watch an e-bike versus a 10-speed in head-to-head -head competition. Alright, go on mate. He's late. I can't get rid of him. He's like the Terminator. Matt, seriously mate, have you given any thought at all to your battery? No, well I've got a full charge, so I'm just going to go flat out, flat stick. Well hang on a minute mate, I was thinking about this, there's 43 and a half kilometres of climbing, so that's going to take you not far off two hours, so if you're relying on more than 250 watts from that bike, then I think on that last climb, you might be running pretty low on juice. Look, to be honest with you, mate, most of this speed is just raw talent. 